So now the recording is started. Um, this is the introduction of um, introductional webinar for new people who have recently joined or uh, haven't joined yet, and hopefully after the presentation will join. Uh, the webinar will be recorded. Uh, so for those who would love to share the, uh, the presentation with, uh, with your peers, with your family members, with your friends, please do so. You will be able to find this presentation on our channel, on YouTube channel, under Global Transnet UK. All right. So I will start. Da -da -da. All right. So my name is Annette Martinson. Um, uh, very nice to, to meet all of you. I, I believe I haven't spoken to uh, any of you, so it's quite exciting. Uh, quite exciting. Um, I joined the company three years ago, and today I'm um, acting or more involved in building the business, uh, building the brand awareness in the UK and internationally. So I'm more on the marketing and, and the sales uh, side. I have also tried um, to bring in big investors or, or smaller investors uh, because every every person is important for us today. So I'm looking after the existing partners and the new ones that comes in because here in the UK we have um, a team of I think around 10 people, but um, you know, each of us needs need help. So we are here to help not just in the UK, but also uh, globally. Um, when I joined the company three years ago, uh, it was only beautiful. There were there was only beautiful pictures and, and brochures about you know beautiful skyway trade. I actually have the you know the brochure behind me. I mean the pop up banner, and I was approached with my, from by one of my friends who said like an ad you know there is an amazing um, project you know this is once in a lifetime opportunity you have to jump on a board, and I was like no 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 that's not for me you know I have my security I have my job I don't need anything more and. And actually, what is investment, right? But um, I'm happy I have friends, uh, friend like him, uh, Armand, who was so persistent uh, and didn't let me go before I said, okay, fine, you know, I will do it. Okay, leave me alone. And uh, I would say uh, that was one of my... Um, well, thanks to him, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I, I have seen world different eyes. I've seen things in different, with different eyes. And um, I'm here to uh, to show you, you know, also what problems we are facing on a daily basis and um, that there is a solution to what we are challenging, um, you know, traveling to different countries or work, um, what air we are breathing and etc. And I think it's very important to see the value of how you can bring, of what, how what you do, you can bring the value to yourself and then to others. Because when I was working in a different uh, company, um, also on sales and, and, and the business management side, um, I couldn't do the job as passionate as I'm doing here, um, you know, the Skyward project today, because I see, you know, how I can change things, not making someone again richer and richer. So the global disaster, um, I don't know, some people don't like the uh, word disaster uh, because it sounds very, uh, trust, very, how to say, very, very, I wouldn't, like some kind of connects disaster with uh, hurricanes or earthquake, but I believe that the daily challenge that we're facing today is even bigger, a bigger problem, bigger challenge than some earthquake, you know, even then it's a problem but still you know i'd say in a bigger picture if you're looking at the air we are breathing on a daily basis and i'm not talking just about the uk i'm talking about you know countries in in europe in africa in america it doesn't matter where you're traveling there is air pollution uh same as water pollution i'm not even talking about overcrowded uh, you know the street all right maybe smaller cities or smaller uh, you know countries uh, they would not have these uh, overpopulated streets, but here it is, and that means that we have less air to breathe. Um, I have unfortunately seen quite often, more, like more and more uh, people wearing masks, where it was very rarely like different, like several countries that were doing it. Today I can see this in London, I have seen it in Liverpool. Come on, where are we are going? This is crazy. 
And I have um, personally um, uh, had to experience on my on my health. Uh, at some point uh, last year, I thought I have asthma because I had like a breathing problem. So I was like, why why do I you know missing breath like breathe like why do you have to do it like twice instead of one time and then i came across an article where it says that unfortunately um i'm sorry i'm talking about london but it just originated with me here it was that um in the first five days in this year we have reached a toxic like the maximum toxic level that could be reached over the year time and this is why air um air pollution is causing more and more death which is crazy. And then we are talking, well, we don't even talk about the road accident and, and injuries that people are gaining, you know, res- kind of experiencing during this, you know, the accident, the tragic, you know, the, the, the traffic jams. Oh gosh, today, this morning, I had the choice to use the underground where the air pollution is even worse, or I had to, to take a bus, stay overgrounded, but stay in the traffic for ages. You know, which one is better? I even don't know. Sometimes I think walking is better, but then at the same time, you know, air pollution is still bad. It's crazy. And um, if we're talking about the safety, as they say, you know, keep safety. Um, I've seen different countries, they have, uh, for example, for underground or for trains, they have the doors in front between people and, and the train. Uh, in London, I have seen it a couple places, but most of the times they have on the yellow line where they say, people, please be behind this yellow line, you know, before the train um, arrives. But then the question is, if we have like overcrowded platforms, like you can see here in the picture, and if there is like child or older lady and people are angry on, and, and they want, all they want is just get home from work, or they are so stressed to get to work that they're going to push and they don't look who is there pushing. Sometimes I get punched with the elbow or, you know, someone rush in front of my face. That's not safety either. But all we do, we are paying higher and higher prices for, for, for journeys and not even talking about the cancellation and delays. I live in South Croydon and I'm using Southern Rail train services, which is complete disaster. In December from 31 days, they worked only 20 days. And then in January, when we came back, they didn't work first week. You know, they do whatever they want. Sometimes I think like no one can control them. Government is putting more, like investing more and more money into broken system and broken infrastructure and nothing is going better. Everything is going worse. And who is paying for this? Obviously the taxpayers. Is it fair? No, it's not. And that's why I feel that, you know, what we are doing here, um, we can definitely maybe not completely like make it like as a beautiful uh, world to live, but I, I think we can improve the situation um, to what we are experiencing today. And uh, so who we are, uh, we are the Sky Invest Group, and we are the educational uh, platform, platform or the investment portal, uh, as well as the trademark for Rail Skyway system. Andre Havarato is the CEO behind this, uh, behind this idea. He is a millionaire, a very educated person, very uh, bright person. He got so much experience in different traditional businesses and not traditional businesses. And um, at some point in his life, he's, he, he saw that, um, or he, he was a point that he got everything he wanted, but he wanted to, uh, to go bigger. Even though even he created um, his own academy private in, uh, for private investors, it was very limited audience or limited, um, you know, people that he could, you know, reach out to and give this knowledge, give this experience, give his um, information to how the life can be created or how the life could be, you know, um, how, how they can live the life if they are not following the system that they were uh, taught in school. You know, and the school who was putting the pro, uh, the system for us with the government. So his mission and our mission also here is to educate people people about the importance and in financial of financial and investment education, because um, some people think, um, and I don't blame them. You know, not some, most of the people think that investment is a luxury. The investment is for. Uh, rich people, you know, you get millions and billions in their account, which is wrong. It's not. 
if you surround yourself with the people that have been there and done that, they will show you how you can, you know, get out of the rat race. Don't go to work from nine to five. Well, if you like your job, that's fine. You know, I, I think, you know, where I'm here today, it's my, like, my place to be. But what I'm saying is, if we are in, if we get enough information of how we can um, create investment portfolio, not having millions in an account, believe me, like over the year time, the money will start coming in more and more, which calls a passive income. And today with Andre Havrato, uh, we have created a Sky Invest group where he is giving his knowledge to as many people as we, as, as as he can, as we can um, globally. Uh, the other person I would like you to know uh, about is uh, Mr. Anatoly Unitsky. He is the big person behind this idea. Um, he is the person why we are here today. Um, he is um, a scientist, uh, engineer, designer. People call him genius. Some people call him Elon Musk in Belarus. You know, you, you can call him in like however you want, but he is the person who can change the way we move around today. He has created the Unisca String a Technology uh, Skyway and been working for this project for more than... Um, now, I would say around 40 years already. Uh, before he'd been awarded and certified in different uh, areas, and two of them is uh, two grants of the UN for development. You can see here in the words in blue colored. So he is very known scientist uh, in, in the technology world. Um, there is some technology that has been created by him that um, astronauts are using to go to cosmos or um, space today. So therefore, he never been involved in any dodgy businesses, in any pyramid scheme businesses, in um, in any illegal businesses. Uh, there, instead, forty years has has been dedicated to you know to to bring this project from just an idea to numbers to actual reality. Unfortunately, he is more like a te te technical person, not like a business person. That's why for him it took. Um, I would take quite a long time to get to place where he is today, where we can say the sky is not anymore a dream, but it's actually a reality. And Mr. Unitsky, um, I haven't met him yet, but I have, I, I believe I kind of know him already um, because there, he got his own blog or his own website, as you can see here um, under the awards and certifications, where you can read his uh his biography there are different uh, videos that you can read there are even uh, if you click on news um then uh, you can see the the chronicle uh, chronological um uh, you know the updates or the activities that has been done from 19 um 56 or something i might like miss um, you know misleading you but there are some 90s 50s, I think, uh, where you can see, you know, beginning, beginning, and then up to date, including all the pattern, um, uh, uh, all the pattern numbers, because he got more than 100 patterns. And um, on a pattern scope, you can check those numbers uh, if they're real, and obviously you will see them there. All right. Um, the problem or the challenge that Mr. Unitsky was facing the, the, the most or the biggest one was that to get the necessary funds. Uh, funds he needed to create a test section, which I will come back later, uh, to show people, to prove people that technology is actually working and it can be put up, up above the ground on the real estate technology. Saying that this is nothing, you know, unique, like how to not unique, this is nothing futuristic, it's the same technology that we are using today, it's just upgraded, I put above the ground using very little amount of, you know, the, the land, so keeping the environment, you know, as it is. And therefore he was, um, well, he was approached many years ago by banks and hedge funds who offered for him, like, um, you know, all the money, but they wanted big debt, um, debt, like they gave him, I think, debt financing where you need to pay back a lot of money, you know, big percentage as we call it. Or big investors who came as well and said, well, hey, yeah, there is money, but all I want is, you know, control package in your company. Control package means that they want to have more than 60% in his company, losing, you know, the control of, you know, 
simple things, for example, where are you going to be built, what material they can use, uh, how much it's going to cost, etc. And who would love to give away more than 50 percent of his company or 51 percent of his company to someone who who you know who just give the money i don't like he, thanks thanks god like he was he was enough smart to to tell them that no this is not the best way for me to to, to find the money and that's fine i will wait i'm not losing out like that's a, you know the whole world that needs this so i can wait and he was waiting to the moment when Andrei Havrato, um, three years ago, um, approached Mr. Yunitsky. It was 4th of, uh, 4th of September 2014 when they uh, ag- they signed a partnership agreement between the company Skyway Invest Group and Eurasian Rail Skyway Systems Ltd. Um, basically, Andrei Havrato, he 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 wanted to do something big. Or, or or bigger, let's say, and he was doing the research in the market to see what's out there, and he came across, you know, the project. He came across, he came across, you know, Mr. Um, Anatoly Yuniski. He they met, they had a conversation, they found out about the challenges, and then he said, "Well, do you know about the crowdfunding? Do you know what it is? What if we create the Skyway Invest Group platform where we are gonna create the Skyway project as a people project, giving opportunities for everyone around the world, like for ordinary people, to become part of something big? And then it was created. The Skyway Invest Group and the Eurasian Rail Skyway System um, signed agreement, and today we are the financial arm for. Um, for for Skyway invest uh, for for rail Skyway systems to 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 get the necessary funds for them to build the you know the test section, which is pretty amazing. And here's a little video for you guys to 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 listen. I think it's two minutes uh, to show you just you know what we have done so far, uh, facilities and uh, Unibike. The, the video is unfortunately a bit. Um, a bit old from last year's, um, but soon we are about to create a new one um, after the Eco Fest, which I will come back later as well. Oops, didn't work. <gasps> it doesn't show. Oops. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> interesting. Oh, it has disappeared. Bear with me. Presentations. Let's find um, another one. Maybe it's going to be here. No, again. Our computer is playing, playing around with me today. <laughs> Maybe here. Yeah, here it goes. Oh, thanks, God. <laughs> Did you like the video? And to be honest, people um, sometimes say it's crowdfunding. Really? The problem is that people um, uh, people sometimes associate the crowdfunding with something very little. No one 
has ever done to what we are doing here today, guys. Therefore, you know, it's very important before you are showing what we have to show them why we are doing it, for them to understand why we are doing what we are doing and why we are doing the way we are doing, if you know what I mean. Uh, just to summarize uh, what you've seen uh, just uh, on the video, um, the, you, we have four technologies that we are uh, promoting today um, or we will be promoting um, you know, with the tangible products very soon. It's Unibike, you can see here on the um, top, um, I mean the, 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 the down right, the bottom right, correct word, it's Unibike, uh, which is more for tourist attractions, um, in, um, for example in parks. Uh, where people can be enjoying the view from the top, from let's say three to six meters above the ground and go around the park. I can uh, give an example. We have huge uh, Hyde Park here in London with a beautiful lake in the middle. Then we have another park called uh, Regent's Park, also with a beautiful view. But how much are you going to be walking around from uh, with the same route? Because the view from the top is amazing. So how can we see that? by using the unibike and for those lazy people it would be much easier also to get from one side of the, of the park to another park uh, on the, another side of the park um, that speed can be reached up to 150 kilometers an hour um, however I, I'm always wondering you know when I have asked um, you know people who, who who was in an inner trance last year uh, where we showcased this this project I was like who is going to be you know, going around um, trying to enjoy the view with with the speed of 150 kilometers an hour doesn't make sense. But maybe some extremists will be um, using it uh, as a as a racing or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, there is also included like a pedaling opportunity on a front seat. Uh, so as I'm saying, the uh, the first person that the, the, first, the person on the front can be like. Um, mm, uh, like a like a driver, and the, the second one uh, would have an opportunity to change the the music on the lights wherever, and the third one is going to be enjoying, which I think is pretty cool. And the the other one is Urban Skyway, the top right. It's more for short distances, up to two hundred kilometers, and the speed can reach up to uh, up to one hundred fifty kilometers an hour as well, if needed. So it's for for the city uh, in the cities. You know, for, for big cities that they don't have space anymore on the ground, it would be a very good opportunity to, you know, bring and uh, bring the transport on the second level and, uh, and make more space on the ground. It can be suspended in the mountain depending on the, um, on the project. Um, these two uh, the technologies or, or types of transports are, are powered by the electricity or the solar panels, so no fuel. All right, and those are the ones who the, 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 these two are more uh, popular one um, most popular at the moment. Then we have a sky speed, a high speed skyway, and the cargo train. High speed train is for longer distances, up to ten thousand kilometers, so we can connect cities, um, regions, um, countries, and and continents in the future. The speed can go up to 500 kilometers an hour, which is pretty pretty fast. It can be mounted suspended as well. Uh, cargo train, um, it's more for corporate uh, corporate uh, con um, companies uh, or countries that are trading between you know between them some goods. Uh, so instead of buying uh, or uh, paying the services for the third party logistic companies, uh, they can buy their own truck, um, cargo, or build the whole truck. High speed urban and unibike, they need uh, the specific certification because obviously they are carrying people, so they need to be um, certified, certified by an uh, independent company telling that it's very safe and it's you know good to good to use for public. Uh, cargo train still needs certification but not so specific. Uh, 
Um, the good news is that Urban Skyway and Unibike will be certified um, up and running and certified by 1st of July latest. For those who don't know, the Unibike is already up and running since last uh, November. Uh, so it, uh, it has been tested. It's been improved, um, you know, in the technicalities because everything that we are doing today here is for the first time. And the Urban Skyway, um, as far as I have seen and uh, uh, have been updated, uh, the, the leg supporters are and uh, the structure is already, um, you know, kind of put together. They just need to wide, uh, you know, glue together, <laughs> as I'm saying. It's very, our technologies, uh, they have uh, quite a few advantages. So we are environment friendly because we are not digging new roots. Um, all we do is just put like supporters uh, or pillars. Um, there could be different dis uh, different um, uh, distance uh, depending on the on the environment um, and um, on the surface as well because our transport can be built anywhere in any place that you can imagine. It can go up to plus 50 degrees, minus 50 degrees. It can be hard or soft surface. It can be water. Um, it can be jungles. It can be a lake, river. It doesn't matter. It can be mounted in an area. It does not matter for us. We can be built anywhere. Um, so that's that. So environment friendly. Um, for eco-friendliness is that, as I already mentioned, Urban Sky and Unibike is using the electricity. Um, electricity, electric powered uh, generator or, or solar panels. Solar panels can be more expensive, but it also can be done. High speed and cargo, um, we, we're really pushing to use just the electricity or solar panel, but at the moment, um, to push the train, um, the country will need to choose which fuel they want to use just to push the train to certain speed. Once it's reached, like for example, this same 500 kilometers an hour, it can change um, automatically to electric uh, power generator. All right, so we are more eco-friendlier than any other transport out there today. We are also cost-effective because um, it's very good, actually, like a number that I never knew before. Um, to build the to build any existing transport that we have here today, like a tra like a train or plane or um, you know build a new road, apparently we are looking at at least twenty million per kilometer, twenty million dollars per kilometer, and it goes up. I will show you the comparison. Um, our transport requires from three to eight million per kilometer. Can you hear me? Three to eight. The average is five million per kilometer. Again, depending on you know complexity of the of the project, where it needs to go, you know how deep is the, the you know the pillars need to be put, like material use, etc. But our average is five million versus twenty million and upward. So what does it mean? It means that for people who use the project, um, who use the transport uh, to get from A to B, it, it will it will cost pennies, people. <laughs> it will cost pennies. And we will be able to travel all around the world. As I was speaking today with one um, friend from America, he says um, he loves traveling. You know, when he says traveling, he means traveling getting out from America, getting to Europe. And he was making a joke that people in America say, oh, I've been traveling, I've been to 37 states, you know. <laughs> because people are not able to travel. You know, they don't have whether, you know, finances or, you know, any other problems, maybe some health problems or etc. So we need solution and this is the solution. So I I look forward and, and I really would love to be, be there when uh, we connect continents. Right, um, so these are the advantages. Ah, and I want to mention there was a, a video, I think it was about the Airbus A380. Um, Mr. Yuniski, in one of the videos, he mentioned that um, Airbus A130, no, A380 was um, produced or put together. Um, the, 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 the over seven years time um, it was put together seven uh, during the seven years and it was spent uh, you know a couple of billions um, to build this one uh, cargo uh, the one plane and apparently later on uh, another three years uh, they uh, they needed to use uh, to produce the pilot plot 
and then they had to uh, test test it as well for a couple another years. So what? Um, oh yeah. So Airbus plane A three hundred eighty, as I said, uh, and it was spent twelve billions. 12 billion guys and plus three years producing pilot but plus testing it for several years more where mr yuniski says that our train is as complex as the plane however we don't have many years to to build it and we don't have billion to build it all we do is very fast and very cost efficient which I think is very, very cool uh, comparison. And he also said, and it's a real figure, that the commercially uh, we will be able to build one kilometer per day. Right? This is pretty awesome. I can't wait to, to see that. And here is like a past on today, guys. Um, so these are the pictures I was introduced to or I was pre provided when, when I joined the, you know, the project. So on the more on the left side, you see um, the, the digital pro uh, picture and more on the right side of the same uh, product, you see the real picture. So the digital and the real picture. Oops. Picture. This one on the bottom left is the station, uh, one of the stations. I think it's for uh, Unibike or Unibus. No, I think for Unibus. And this one is uh, for, for security. Uh, so basically we have like... Um, we don't build like a big, uh, you know, how to do the protection around the eco techno park, but we have like, like a very high electric um, powered like a wall uh, where no one can get through. Fanimals is also safe, I was asked this question, uh, because they are, are giving some signals and um, so the animals are scared away and they are not uh, injured. So as I said uh, previously, uh, how what you see have been uh, like how we have done this so far is through crowdfunding. And once again, for those who don't know what is the crowdfunding, it's a platform like a Kickstarter, Seeders, or um, Crowdcube, where startups are coming with the idea or they're writing the idea. And they are putting on a, on, a, on a public and they, for example, say uh, we are giving X amount of equity uh, to raise X amount of money. So people from all around the world, they are able to chip in, you know, in this project, in this idea for the startups to be able to, you know, to build or, or create whatever they are doing. And most of the times people are... Um, receiving something uh, you know in return whether it's like um, a prototype once the company goes on, on, on public so they create the idea they you know give them as a gift so a prototype if you for example it could be in terms of conditions as well if you invest over a thousand for example dollars or for example some subscription for some services uh, in our case crowdfunding uh, we have created um, to raise a uh, $200 uh, investment for our eco techno park which is in Minsk this is 36 hectare land uh, given by the government um, and it's completely um, how to say as they said it's completely dead because many years ago people were using it for uh, well armies were using it for um, you know the, the the equipment testing and we prove them growing today we have planted trees and today i think this year we're going to be we keep planting uh, trees as well we have grass flowers uh, tomatoes we will, will have a lake or i think there is a lake already but we need to put the water in and we have to put the fish fishes in and we will create it as we are saying eco techno park this is the test section where we, we will, where we will build the um, the high speed train which is down here then you have the unibus, which is here, unibike, and the cargo uh, is on the left side, which you know you can see a little bit. <laughs> but basically, this is the land where we can bring everyone who is very skeptical, who doesn't believe in this project, or versus to those people who are excited and they just need to see the project in, um, you know, the transport in action, and they're gonna, you know, give us the green light. So this is why, why and, and where the money, you know, has been, you know, kind of put in or like reinvested in, in a business. So we haven't put this money in our pockets. <laughs> uh, this money has gone directly to the Eco Techno Park, which you can easily be uh, witnessed by, um, you can witness, um, you know, the transport in action yourself as well, which I will come later on, um, because we are creating, uh, we have organized the Eco Fest in 1st of July. 
Uh, the total investment needed is, as I said, 200, mil uh, 200 million dollars. And today we have raised 27 million dollars through a crowdfunding platform, which is pretty awesome. And this is the main company where people are investing today. And if you invest today, then you become automatically a owner of the technology and um, investor in the main company as it once they uh, once we build the projects all around the world in Australia, New Zealand, uh, India, somewhere in Europe, America, Africa, it doesn't matter. You will be receiving the dividends once the company starts earning the profit. So let's say we build a project in India, company. Um, but they build the project, uh, the project is up and running, people are using the, pro the transport. So once a company starts using the profit, um, receiving the profit, 20% will go back to investors quarterly. Okay, so this is pretty awesome because some people say, oh no, I need still to wait for the project to be finalized and then I will think and the company goes on IPO and then I will invest. Unfortunately, once the company goes on IPO, you know, not for everyone, I think it's not going to be a very attractive opportunity because you know God knows how much one invest uh, how much one share will cost um, once the company is in a stock exchange. But I will come back to later as well. Um, the comp uh, the project has been divided on fifteen stages. Um, so we have a business plan. Um, for those who are interested, you can go back to your sponsor and ask it, ask for it. Each stage uh, requires certain things to be done and certain amount of money to be raised. Uh, I joined the company when it was 2014 and over three year time, what we have achieved is amazing. We have two transports up and running. The cargo train is also, I think, uh, well, what I've seen from videos is half ready on the 1st of July. We might have the suspended, um, uh, I mean, the mounted train as well, half ready to, to, to see it. You know, um, we will have the, the transport certified. We have a few contracts already signed so stage nine for the, our company for our project is the very very exciting stage because now we see the things happening and uh, more closer we get to stage 15 um, more closer we get to the IPO the IPO is within the next two to four years time okay um, to, re to go to stage 10, we require over 20, I think it was 22 million um, dollars. And uh, it can happen tomorrow, it can happen in a ten, like week time or a month time, we don't know. But once it happens, you know, quite serious things will happen too. <laughs> As for example, when we move from stage 8 to stage 9, um, there was um, incre the, 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 the investment increased by 40% which will you see on the next slide as well. So here we have a few country, uh, countries that are involved and have shown a big interest and have shown their um, respect to, to what we have done here so far. But also then our rug hook on the top right, uh, he is the ex-chief um, uh, ex -chief transport minister for South of Australia. He was the uber skeptical person that I can imagine, um, you know, joining the company and the project later on. So he traveled to Minsk a couple of times himself and with with his team, with different teams, with different delegations, just to prove, you know, that what he sees and what he understands is what the other sees and understand. And since then he has become our um, our director in um, in Australia, for Skyva Australia. And he wants to bring this technology to uh, Flinders University, connecting the campus for students so they don't have to, you know, miss their lunch and sitting in the traffic. And also, um, there another project in, is in um, planned in Adelaide, Adelaide City, which also you can um, you can see loads of news and updates on on, on the internet as well. Uh, then we have uh, obviously Czech Republic, we have UK, uh, Ireland, Turkey. Um, the Philippines, um, New Zealand is coming up as well, but we are obviously we need to get to discussion. So there are loads of countries that are coming to us today, um, and they are trying to get to to meet Mr. Unitsky to see you know what needs to be done in order for them to bring this technology to their country. The biggest I guess achievement for us today is that um, India 
they have signed with us a contract for 922 million dollars and they want to build um, three targeted projects in smart city connecting 19 cities unfortunately i don't know from top of my head uh, the names of the cities and um, but there are uh, articles on, on LinkedIn uh, or on our Facebook group, which I will share with you later on as well, where you can see all the articles, all the news and updates, um, you know, about everything that happens in the company. Um, in India, there are, you know, the, the project is disclosed as much as we can know, and there are different cities as well um, mentioned that, you know, for those who are interested to know more, you can go online and, and check it out. But what I can say is, you know, no one wanted to be first, but no one wanted to be second. However, India took, you know, the the leadership, and now they uh, we have them on board, and I believe the other ones will will um, will will follow. Um, so yeah, here are the few pictures. Um, few pictures. Now I know why we are here. <laughs> there was few pictures of what has been done. By the way, um, I wanted to share with you this comp uh, competitor and analysis as well, um, because some people say, well, I know about the Skytron, there is magnetic levitation trains and etc. Um, take a screenshot of this or just, um, you know, later on you can share the webinar or have a look at, the, at this again. Um, it's just three another comparison to what we can offer here today. Obviously, the speed might not be the highest one as the Hyperloop can offer or the magnetic uh, levitation train. But talking about the safety, we can offer the very the very high safety. We have zero um, zero accident rate. Um, the cost per kilometer, as I mentioned to you before, you know, look at this: hundred five million Hyperloop, hundred million dollars. You know, and we are operating between three to eight, three to six um, million per kilometer. Eco-friendly is obviously everyone, because this is what we are going forward to. And then we have ad adaptability, which means um, you know we can be built anywhere. As you can see, magnetic uh, levitation can be built in the water. It needs a flat ground. Skytrain the same, and it's only for cities. For us, we can be built in sea, mountain, jungle, desert, and 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 etc. So I think that's, uh, oops, that's, I think, quite uh, good to kind of get share with your, with your people. And then we are coming back to what's in it for you guys. The investment opportunities. Um, here we are saying to people, um, you have an opportunity to join the company and to tell them, tell us that, you know, you want to be, um, in this team, as, as in this uh, project, um, by putting your name down. Um, I have received numerous of um, petitions that people want to change this, people that want to change that, the government needs to do this and that. But all they do is just say, send me back a, like a thank you letter and describing what they're going to be doing about it. And that's it. You know, they do whatever they do. In our case, we have two opportunities that you can take um, on board and you can decide, you can make your decision, your choice, uh, how you want to support our, our project. So first thing is just sign up, go back to your investor um, sponsor, ask for the link, do the, registra do the registration. And, um, uh, and um, ask him for, for promotion, promo, promo, promo code as well, which I will share you, with you a bit later. But basically, you do the registration, and the company is not going to just tell you, oh, thank you for supporting us. We will give you um, gifts, two gifts. Uh, one of them is uh, educational material, eight, eight rules of private investor. And the other one is um, X amount of uh, pre-IPO equity shares, which I will tell you later at the end of the presentation how much those are, as it's just a gift. All right. The other opportunity for you to support us is to help us to raise the funds for Oika Techno Park. So here are a few of those that I have, uh, you know, taken as a screenshot from your back office. This you also can see. Um, this information you also can see in your back office. So just you know, ask your sponsor to share with you this information. But today, for example, I will you know give you five thousand U five thousand USD dollars investing. You will receive seven hundred thousand pre-IPO 
equity shares in the package, which means that once the company goes on IPO, the value for this package would be $700,000. And the reason why is because today's IP been valued and worth of $400 billion. So one share is, um, well, they have undervaluated the one share would be uh, worth $1. Okay, so but imagine that we are not selling a phone or we're not selling a chocolate or anything else, we are selling a whole infrastructure. So, therefore, I believe that one share would not cost one dollar, it would cost more. But just to just to take as it one, one share would cost one dollar, then by investing only five thousand USD dollars today, you get a portfolio worth seven hundred thousand dollars and then put another zero if one share would cost one dollar so it would be seven million correct yeah seven million worth portfolio by investing today five thousand which project would give you this opportunity i have come across people that say to me oh you know if i have an opportunity if i have a money i would be investing in a hyperloop you know but hyperloop would never give you this opportunity if you are not a big investor here today we are offering, you know, it's kind of the same industry, just a different product, but also opportunity to invest and receive the, you know, pre-IP equity shares in the package, which will be worth, you know, quite a lot of money later. All right, I hope you understand. But 5,000 is not the amount that you have to go for. There are different different price, um, different amount you can invest. You can invest $250 or $100 or $50,000 if you want. It's up to you. I'm just telling you or I'm giving you the opportunities or options that you can go and, you know, think about. Um, let's say that you want to go for a 10,000 USD dollar uh, investment because you would be receiving uh, close to 2 million pre-IP equity shares but you don't have the money in account today that's fine still today you have an option or opportunity to invest um, 10,000 is here like EIP installment 5 to buy this package and pay out the amount over 10 months period paying only 10 um, paying only thousand dollars per month okay so let's say you buy today um, this package and now you have to remember that every month you have to top up your back office let's say a couple of days ago a week ago with this amount of money because first we are not doing direct debit but you have to top up your back office for us to, to dedicate the money um, you know towards your package uh, let's say you're on a month four you have received another bonuses or you have you know won the lottery and you have the rest of six thousand dollars to pay out you can easily do that you can also do um you can also buy another two packages another three packages if you want it doesn't matter you know as long as you pay them on time uh, otherwise it will be cancelled and recalculated how much shares at that time you have been uh, you know purchased if say that tomorrow comes in a big investor and he pays out all the remaining uh, amount for Eco Techno Park, don't worry, you can still pay your monthly package for the rest of like even if it's nine months, you still can pay because you have um, uh, reserved that particular amount of shares. Okay, so don't be, don't worry. The most important fact is to remember to put up of your back office. Um, business opportunities quickly go through so uh, we are not employing people but those people who see the uh, picture how to say or they see, if they see the, the vision and the picture on a bigger scale then there is an opportunity to grow with us um, not necessarily particularly in UK but but globally because what we do is we use in word of mouth do you know what does it mean if not, then can I ask you, you know, what are the best restaurants you can recommend me? Or what is the best shop you can recommend me? Or what is the best, um, um, what is the best travel agency you can recommend me? And the moment you recommend me this company or the services or whatever, food or something, I'm going to go and buy it. 
because you are the person that I believe in and you are the person who told me about that and said about, you know, experience and, you know, told me about how amazing it's all about. I'm going to go and buy it or I'm going to go and eat there or I'm going to use a travel agency. But most of the time, unfortunately, they are not going to pay you for referring me to them, right? I'm not saying that it's completely like nowhere. There are situations where you can go and you can find, um, you know, they, for example, giving you like a reward card or something. I don't know. Like I had a situation with a uh, carpet cleaner who gave me at the end like a card where I need to refer 10 people and he will come and clean my carpet, you know, next time for free. Uh, or banks I've seen as well that they are referring to each other. So we are doing as well, which I think is pretty cool. I believe people are buying people and um, they trust you more than some advertisement companies or some TV or radio. Um, so as long as you, you can um, you know, share the vision with someone and you can share this information with someone, you can get paid for it. And what we can offer here today is anyone can enroll and start earning from day one. So if you register today, you can also tell to someone else and this person can be also directly registered under you and if the person invests, you straight away can earn money. All you need to do, um, you need to just qualify uh, by investing $8, which I don't think it's a lot of money. I've been involved in different network marketing businesses um, where they asked me to invest hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars. I have to buy products, I have to test them, I have to sell them, or I have to use them. But basically, there is big investment where here you don't have to. $8, I think it's not, not a lot. Um, you know, we go... I, I travel to London for twelve pounds, so I think eight dollars is quite a reasonable amount for you to start, you know, your business. And obviously, you need to be over eighteen. Uh, and limited learning potential, no levels for limit. Uh, level limits is because we are not permit scheme. We are not binary. Uh, b b b oh my gosh, uh, binary binary scheme <laughs> uh, or any other scheme. We have unlimited people on the first line and unlimited people on the downline. Obviously, you need to be qualified to receive the percentage from, let's say, um, uh, line which is downline on 10 or 11 or 12. Uh, but there is a marketing plan that we can go through later. But however, what, what I want to say is that there is no uh, um, like X amount of people that can be on the first level or the second level. Therefore, there are no level uh, limit for potential um, for earnings. Uh, the pro product proposition, I believe over um, phew, over <laughs> 45 minutes, I think I have given you a product proposition. I have shown you the unique um, selling points, uh, as we can say, for this product, that this is not just a dream, it's not just a picture, it's, it's reality today. And I think if you picture, you know, the pain points for people that are traveling big journeys, paying a high amount, standing on the train or sitting in the traffic or living in a busy city, so whatever it is, and say that this product or this project can help them, uh, not just for me, but for your kids and kids' kids, then I believe they, there will no be questions. Um, captured audience is that everyone can be enrolled, as I mean, not earning, but enrolled in a project. If you have even like um, a, a month old baby, um, instead of buying like numerous gifts again that he or she won't be even using, um, you can, um, instead of going to bank and put the money in a bank and um, hoping for them to, you know, to give some percentage at the uh, age of 18 or in a 18 years time, you can enroll this person in our project. You can start, um, you can buy the package or you can pay monthly for this person. And once they reach the age of 18, they will be able to use, you know, uh, the dividends um, that they will be receiving from the project or selling the, the shares. And what we can offer here today as, for example, seven multiple income streams, um, which I think very cool. Uh, today we have um, commission that you can earn from your network. So for those who love talking to people and love sharing their experience or ideas or everything, you can just go to them, tell them about the project, they would love to invest, you register under them and you get the percentage. 
There is a marketing plan that you can have a look at. The first level, I can tell you, have received 15%. The next level, it receives 7, 5, 4, and then it's from 0, 1 to 1% downline. The other one is the investment from the uh, percent from from the from the package they invest, um, they buy. Um, it's going to be only for the stage nine. At stage ten, we won't have this anymore um, because today it's more expensive to give away, you know, a gift as a pre-IPO equity shares instead of you uh, giving you the the cash. So be active. You know, if you if you join today, be active because you can earn a lot. So this is purely. From your personal network, from your team, from your, you know, what you're building, and there is a marketing plan, as I said. Uh, you can ask your down, um, you know, sponsor to to share it with you, and you can, you know, go through it. And if there are some questions, you can obviously come back to me or to someone else. You can maybe go more details, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the company representative, basically, um, this is a very serious situation. Um, we are looking for leaders in regions or in countries um, who can take up, you know, the lead, like who can build their teams um, and they can take up the region. Um, but to get there, you need to have a consultant level. So again, you need to go through the steps. You need to know all about the company. You need to know, you know, inside and out, how to do the business, etc. And then we, when we see that you are a person that we can trust you, that we can go and open the office in, uh, you know, your region or your country, and then you can receive the percentage as well uh, from uh, attracted investment. Okay, uh, then there is a project initiation. So let's say you, you have opened the office and now you have people that would be interested from the government. Uh, you can go initiate the project um, and you will also receive the percentage depending on your involvement and what you have done, you know, to make the deal to complete, like basically open and close the deal. There is also a percentage, uh, you know, just kind of discussed uh, over the contract. And then percentage from the contract, which is uh, quite exciting as well. So, so the first two, the network and investment A and B, was from your personal investment and people who are investing under hundred thousand uh, dollar or pound um, investment level. Those who are investing investing over hundred thousand dollars mark, uh, they need to be going straight directly to Mr. Unitsky with yourself and under Havarta to close the deal. Okay, there is also a percentage up to 5% in cash from, you know, your involvement in the business um, in a deal and up to 2.7, uh, 2.5% um, in, in, in shares also from the purchase package uh, for the, from the deal, which is also be uh, going to be available only for stage nine. For stage 10, we're going to be giving only cash in, in a commission. All right. And then we obviously have tomorrow, which is the IPO and dividend. So as I said, like once a company goes an IPO, you are able to receive dividends, uh, dividends from any project all around the world where it's going to be built if you invest in Eco, Eco Techno Park. If you wait for Eco Techno Park to be finished and wait that there, there is no risk at all involved, then you can um, you will be able to invest in separate projects. And receiving uh, dividends only from from those particular projects. Um, the other part you can do is obviously you can sell the shares on on your sto on the stock market. Okay. Um, for those who don't know or they just joined or you you are not aware of this, uh, please stay updated on uh, our uh, five social medias. Um, so the Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and um, which one I missed? Uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Yeah, correct. And um, please follow us, you know, stay updated. There are live news, live updates. So you will never be, um, you know, outdated of, on the information. However, tomorrow, uh, for, for, for people who are our long-term partners or, you know, they're already on a partner level, you will be able to, you, you can join the webinar to the tomorrow and I will share the latest news and updates that, ha ha that has happened this, <coughs> this week or the previous week, all right? 
And very exciting news uh, for, for you guys is the, uh, our EcoFest, which is going to happen on 1st of July. It's a very great event to attend. Um, if you are still, uh, you know, not sure whether the project is for you, not sure whether it's real. Um, you know, some people say it's still kind of, uh, rough, very good designed pictures. So you're more than welcome to attend this uh, EcoFest, which is going to be obviously in, in Minsk. Um, there is a link uh, where you can do the registration, complete the, you know, fill up the form. And if you invite the guests, please register them to um, ASAP because we really need to know how many English speaking people will be attending uh, in order to, um, to make sure we have, you know, the, the translation for you too. On the 2nd July, there is going to be a day off. Um, and the 3rd, 4th and 5th, uh, we will have a conference for uh, people who are the consultants and above. Um, and they will have the, the, the personal training uh, with Mr. Harvrato uh, during three days. So it's very exciting. Um, if you join today and you are not consultant, so you still have a time to do so. <laughs> And um, once again, if you haven't registered today, ask your sponsor to give you a link. And this is the promo code that you can use to receive um, the total amount of 50 pre-IPO equity shares as a gift today. And the promo code is definitely working. I have tested it, um, our technical people have tested it, and it's working, and it's well until 30th of April. So what can I say? Build the Skyway, save the planet. <laughs> Questions and answers. I have lost my voice. Oh. Okay, someone has said some awesome with crowdfunding. Geez, we need the urban or coastline. We experience slips, etc., due to cyclone Dublin and Hook. Definitely, we can avoid all of that. Well, New Zealand is getting. Can you explain the EcoFest event? So EcoFest event is an opportunity uh, to, to everyone from all around the world to go and see the transportation up and running and you know witness that this is all real. So as I said, Unibike and Unibus will be up and running by 1st of July. Um, it might be a situation, well, depending how many people will be attending there, uh, but maybe some VIP persons will be able even to drive with the tra to, to test drive the transport. Um, there's also will be cargo half ready, uh, which also we will be able to see. So first of July, everyone uh, who ever wants to who 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 wants to join um, this um, party, as we call it, uh, please uh, do follow the link that I have put here underneath and fill up the form, because during this Eco Fest, you will be able to take videos, you will be able to take pictures, you will be able to see other people. Um, and maybe, you know, ask some questions uh, and etc. Basically, it will be a kind of assurance for you that we are not making up, you know, a beautiful pictures, but everything is um, happening and it's, it's real. Um, there is also, as I said, um, the third, fourth and fifth, um, a conference, organized three-day conference uh, by um, Mr. Havrato, but those, the, the, the so that that conference is only for consultants and above. If you're an agent or partner or just an um, investor, uh, you won't be able to attend because during the conference, Havrata will tell you, you know, what are the company's vision and how to build the business and he will do the training and etc. Okay. And um, <coughs> can I see promo code? Here we go. Um, Brian, is is it is it clear about the EcoFest event? Obviously, there is a there is a link that you also can find on 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 our back office where you can purchase the ticket. The ticket costs fifteen dollars uh, by the end of April. Then it goes up by twenty dollars, I think, and then it's going to be uh, thirty dollars to attend this um, uh, EcoFest the first of July. And you will be able to enter only if you have the ticket. Um, okay. 
<coughs> I think um, who wants to know more information? As I said, there is going to be um, da -da -da. there is going to be a webinar tomorrow where I'm going to emphasize more on these promotions and everything. But okay, here it is. Um, for those who don't know, uh, so there is a ticket that you need to purchase uh, under this link, festival.rswsystems.com. Uh, you will be able to purchase um, on your name uh, the 1st of July ticket, which as you can see is $50 today. Uh, May will be $20, June will be $25, and on site will be $30. Uh, the ticket is not refundable, and your ticket ticket allows you to use the transfer bus as well. Okay. Um, so the promotions, yeah, that, that's for people who are attending then, uh, for consultants. <coughs> Do you have more questions, people? It's very hot in here. All right, I see you don't. Well, guys, I really hope you understand um, everything, um, especially for those who are here for the first time. If you really um, need some help or anything, you're more than welcome to, uh, you know, to find me on, on Skype, um, which is A-N-I-I-T-S-5. And I, will I hope I can help you uh, with with the questions you might you might have, but uh, for now I will say thank you for your attention. For thank you for attending. Please 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 invite um, you know your new people for the next uh, webinar, which is next Tuesday. I really want to see us growing globally. I want to really to see you know new people joining us because we have 159 countries I think involved. Today, 105 countries are supporting the project, and I really hope you know the numbers in those countries will grow uh, rapidly as well. So today we had a webinar for uh, for completely new people. Uh, tomorrow I will have a webinar for those who are already in a business and they just want to know the news and update. And on Thursday, um, same time by the way, seven o'clock uh, BST time. So on Thursday, I'm running a webinar or Mila will be running a webinar uh, how actually to start, you know, doing the business, you know, whether it's a, how to run the presentations, how to run the webinars or anything else. And you will be able to ask more and more questions. But that's also for people who are already in the business. All right, guys, it was nice to speak to you. And I look forward, um, you know, to see you uh, us growing uh, next Tuesday. All right, thank you all very much and have a good evening. Bye.